So you had questions about our last Veed.io video, and in this video, we're gonna go a little deeper and answer all of the questions that you had, along with addressing a few extra features. If you haven't watched our original video on Veed.io, be sure to check out the full review with a link in the description. In the rise, feel free to tag along as we go through some of the most commonly asked questions and of course, additional things that you might wanna know. All right, y'all, so I was actually really freaking surprised by the amount of comments that we got on this video mostly because it wasn't one that I thought was going to do really well, but apparently y'all liked it. So let's go ahead and address some of the big questions that came up uh, and get you the answers that you're looking for. So the biggest one that I saw on here were mostly just about like free version versus paid version, removing watermarks, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go through it. Um, I ended up purchasing the pro plan and I paid in full for the year, as you can see here. Um, but I'll link again this link in the description for you if you wanna jump straight over to it. Now, Veed obviously, has a few different options. If you're on the free option down here, then there's going to be different kinds of limitations to what you can do. Um, it says here that you could potentially remove the watermark, but I don't think that that actually um, applies to the free version. I believe you actually have to have the light version in order for that to work. So for the folks that are asking me about how to do that, um, unfortunately, you do have to have the light version, which is at $12 per month. And then again, if you're paying annually, then you save 50% which is a pretty darn good deal. Otherwise, if you're paying monthly, um, $24 per month, and then you can remove whatever you'd like. So I personally thought as far as pricing goes, Veed, unlike other softwares, definitely has a much better incentive to pay in full for the year. Most platforms give you the standard, like pay in full and get two months free, 20% off or whatever. And they, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, maybe. Um, but the majority of the time doesn't really make sense. And in this case, 50% kind of makes sense to pay in full for the year. Okay, we're ranting. Back to the questions. To the individual asking me about being able to remove watermarks over here. Um, again, you have to have the paid version and then you can automatically just remove it and put on your own branding. So fun. Okay, next question that we had on here, um, does the light version have limited videos which you can export? So again, Veed does have some limitations depending on what you're doing. Um, and then it's based obviously on the amount of storage, the file size that you're uploading, and then the video export length. So if you are on the light plan, pro plan, or whatever it is, as long as you're paying for the software essentially, you don't actually have an export length limitation, which is really nice because a lot of the times these softwares, especially the AI platforms, they'll charge you per minute or whatever it is and then set lots of really annoying, obnoxious um, limitations. The other thing here is gonna be storage. So upload file size, storage, you're gonna have some limitations. Luckily for upload file size, as soon as you start paying, you can upload a 30 gigabyte file and you're good to go. Now storage is the other issue here because you are kind of limited in the amount of storage that you can have on your account, which is why you don't wanna just be creating a bunch of random content in there. You wanna be kind of meticulous about how you clean up and manage your content. So that you're not paying a ton for storage. And that's one of the things, again, give or take, when you finish editing a video, you export it, save it somewhere else, delete it, um, and then move on. Let's see, the next thing on here, there is an iOS app. I personally haven't used it. Apparently it can replace CapCut. I never really got into CapCut. It was just too crazy for me, um, but that is going to be only for pro users. So heads up on that. The other components, stock audio and video, it was okay. I wouldn't say I loved the stock audio and video that they had available in here. There were some basic options, but again, it wasn't like like super impressive. It's enough to get the job done if you're somebody who's like an amateur video editor or you're not really needing super robust stuff. Um, but if you are somebody who, you know, you want more, then you're gonna have to go find better content somewhere else and then import it. Um, and then again, limitations on the free plan, but on Light and Pro, you're pretty much unlimited. So that's fantastic. And then subtitles, I think is the other big one. So for me, um, I think subtitles are actually really important for one, just being compliant and also just being somebody who wants to make your content easier for people who might be hard of hearing. Um, so you can basically have 144 hours per year. It is quite a lot of content if you ask me. My videos tend to be between six to 10 minutes. The longer ones, maybe 20. So I can get pretty darn far and that would definitely last a year. But again, if you're on the free plan, that's gonna be one of your biggest limitations as far as how much um, content you can have those auto subtitles created. So that's basically the text that you're gonna see down below. Okay. AI tools. So again, these are some of the reasons why I decided to go with the pro plan over the light plan and especially over the free plan was 
mostly because the tool actually lets you set up like automatic AI eye contact so that you're always looking at the camera, even in your videos, if you're not looking in the camera when you're recording it, which is kind of cool. Uh, and that's only available in the pro plan. So that was a big reason why I chose that one. Um, background removals, clean audio, voice cloning. The voice cloning was actually really cool. And this was the thing that sold me on this because I was like, oh, I want to be able to record my voice and have like talk over slides without having to do all the extra work. So that was a big reason why I was like, oh, I want to try this. Um, and we did test out like a bunch of other AI generated um, avatars and whatnot, and they were okay. I didn't love them. So, you know, we kind of went with what we went with. You do have AI avatars in here. Um, I believe with the personal AI one, you do have to have the enterprise. So it's a different plan. I didn't actually go for that because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, but those I would say are like the main features. Now per plan, the way that their software works is you're paying per editor, which means per person that's on there. Um, and so we obviously just share our um, email with our team members who do our editing and then uh, that way we don't have to pay for additional licenses inside of it because you the more people that you have you basically have to pay per member which can add up pretty quickly so i let them recommend that find a workaround okay and then the brand kit again um you're not going to be able to have that on the free plan so that's a little bit of a bummer um, but if it's not really a big deal for you then you don't have to worry about it light plan you get some limited features and then the pro plan again you're going to be able to do a lot more with the customizations as well as in that pro plan this is where you can set up your own custom water mark so your own logo on it which is nice okay everything else that's in here it's not really going to be things that you're going to be using in regards to youtube content creation uh the screen and cam recorder i will say i did like right now the video that you're watching i'm actually recording on uh what is it called vimeo <laughs> So Vimeo is what we're currently using to record this one. And it works pretty similarly as far as like the pause ability to be able to record your screen, stop talking, uh, change what you're sharing. Um, so I do actually find that really helpful and it does work across the board. Compress and convert, it's kind of nice. Don't really use it too much. Um, and then the support is pretty general. So I really wouldn't care too much about those things. But I'd say again, the biggest parts are if you're somebody who wants to get rid of the watermark, you want really clean content, you're gonna need to have um, at least the light plan. And then if you want more customization, you really wanna be, be able to do more with the software, then the pro plan is where it's at. Um, and again, the, the thing that you're looking at here is if you're paying per month, the cost definitely does go up. So I personally think that it's worth it, in my opinion, to pay for the software um, in full for the year because you're gonna get a hell of a lot better discount you're basically paying half of the cost of what you would normally be paying for it um if of course you can float that i know for some folks it might not always be an option um, but i would say test it out test it out for a month see if you like the pro plan if it's worth it for you and if it's not then you can just cancel but if you love it then upgrade for the year and you're good to go all right, so let's get into some of the limitations that I've kind of found with uh, V.io. And one of the biggest ones is the fact that I can't actually go and just automatically schedule my reels or my shorts from the platform. And so I've been playing and testing a few different options. I'll be posting more about those other softwares in future videos. So be sure to hit subscribe if you are enjoying this content. And of course, a thumbs up really means a lot around here. So always appreciate it. Thank you. Um, but I would say that's the one downfall. So if you're somebody who is wanting to repurpose a lot of your content, Veed definitely does a great job of like allowing you to take the video, recreate additional small snippets as you're seeing here, but then you have to go and export it and upload it and schedule it in whatever your third party software is that you're using for your other platform. So that's what I'd say is like the one downfall of it. Not really my favorite thing. And then it also doesn't have the ability to post directly to YouTube either. So again, you're going to have to do the export import thing not a huge deal but for some people it kind of is um, and that being said I think that's pretty much all of the things that I have on v.io and follow-ups from our original video that we did last month so hopefully you enjoyed this if you have more questions as always feel free to comment down below we're happy to create more content for you otherwise if this is your first time watching hello my name is Soph I am an SEO marketing consultant and a SaaS agency owner and I'm so excited that you're here this channel is pretty much dedicated to all things SEO marketing automations on for your online business and of course how to build in an equitable and sustainable way so if you enjoy that kind of content be sure to hit that nice little subscribe button come hang out and we look forward to seeing you in future videos